Gardening brings joy. It's a timeless activity that has been cherished by generations. Whether you're young or old, the act of nurturing plants and watching them grow can be incredibly fulfilling. It connects us with nature. The feel of the soil, the smell of fresh leaves and the sight of blooming flowers can be a therapeutic escape from the hustle and bustle of daily life. But what if you have limited space? Living in an urban environment or having a small backyard shouldn't stop you from enjoying the benefits of gardening. That's where container gardening comes in. It's a versatile solution that allows you to grow plants in pots, containers, or any other portable vessel. Imagine stepping onto your balcony. Instead of a barren space, you're greeted by a lush green oasis. You're greeted by the vibrant green of tomato plants. Their leaves are full of life, and the sight of them can instantly lift your spirits. The sweet smell of their leaves fills the air. It's a scent that reminds you of summer and the simple pleasures of life. You reach out and pick a ripe red tomato, still warm from the sun. The satisfaction of harvesting your own produce is unparalleled. This is the magic of container gardening. It transforms even the smallest spaces into thriving gardens. It brings the joys of gardening to anyone, anywhere. No matter where you live, you can experience the delight of growing your own plants. Container gardening is perfect for small spaces. It's an ideal solution for urban dwellers or those with limited outdoor areas. Whether you have a balcony, patio, or just a sunny windowsill, you can grow your own food. It offers flexibility. You can choose the plants that suit your space and needs. You can move your containers around to follow the sun. This adaptability ensures that your plants get the optimal amount of light throughout the day. This ensures your plants get the light they need to thrive. Watching them turn towards the sun is a reminder of their resilience and the beauty of nature. No more worrying about finding the perfect spot in your garden. Another benefit is control. With container gardening, you have the power to create the ideal environment for your plants. You have complete control over the soil. You can choose the best soil mix, add nutrients, and ensure proper drainage. This means you can create the perfect growing environment for your tomatoes. Healthy soil leads to healthy plants, and healthy plants lead to a bountiful harvest. No more battling against clay soil or poor drainage, just pure, healthy growing. You can water your plants as needed and ensure they have the right conditions to flourish. Finally, container gardening is a great way to reduce your environmental impact. By growing your own food, you contribute to a more sustainable lifestyle. You can grow your own food organically. This means no harmful chemicals, just fresh natural produce. Plus, you'll reduce your carbon footprint by growing food at home. Less transportation means fewer emissions and that's good for the planet. It's a win-win for you and the planet. Container gardening not only brings joy and satisfaction but also promotes a healthier, more sustainable way of living. Now that you're eager to start, let's talk about tomatoes. Not all tomato varieties are created equal. Some are better suited for container life than others. When choosing your tomato companions, consider these factors. First, think about the size of your container. If you have a smaller pot, choose a compact variety like cherry tomatoes. These little beauties are prolific producers and perfect for snacking. For larger containers, you have more options. Patio Princess tomatoes are specifically bred for container growth. They produce an abundance of delicious medium-sized tomatoes. Another great option is Roma tomatoes. These are perfect for making sauces and pastes. Finally, consider the growth habit of the plant. Determinate or bush varieties are ideal for containers. They grow to a certain height and then stop. This makes them much easier to manage in a pot. Choosing the right container is crucial for your tomato success. Think of it as choosing a home for your plant. You want it to be comfortable, spacious, and provide everything it needs to thrive. Size matters when it comes to containers. A pot that's too small will restrict your tomato's growth. Aim for a container that's at least 10 gallons in size. This will give your tomato's roots plenty of room to spread out and grow. Next, consider the material of your container. Plastic pots are lightweight and affordable. Fabric grow bags are excellent for drainage and aeration. And ceramic pots, while heavier, can add a touch of elegance to your patio. Just make sure your chosen container has drainage holes. These are essential for preventing water logging and root rot. The soil is the foundation of your tomato's health. It provides the nutrients and support your plant needs to grow strong and produce fruit. When it comes to container gardening, you want to create a lightweight, well-draining mix. Avoid using garden soil. It's too heavy and can compact easily in a container. This can suffocate the roots and prevent them from absorbing water and nutrients. Instead, opt for a good quality potting mix. 
You can further enhance your potting mix by adding organic matter. Compost is like black gold for your plants. It's packed with nutrients and beneficial microbes. Mix in a generous amount of compost to your potting mix before planting. This will give your tomatoes a head start and keep them well fed throughout the growing season. Section 5. Planting for Success. Now comes the exciting part. Planting your tomato. Handle the seedlings with care. Gently remove them from their pots, taking care not to damage the roots. If the roots are circling around the bottom of the pot, gently loosen them with your fingers. Dig a hole in the center of your prepared container. The hole should be deep enough to bury two-thirds of the stem. This may seem counterintuitive, but burying part of the stem encourages stronger root development. Place the seedling in the hole and gently backfill with soil. Water the plant thoroughly until water drains out of the drainage holes. This helps to settle the soil around the roots and prevents air pockets. Section 6. The Art of Nurturing Your Tomato Plants Once your tomato is planted, it's time to turn your attention to its care. Think of yourself as a caretaker, providing everything your plant needs to thrive. Watering is crucial, especially during the hot summer months. Tomatoes need consistently moist soil, but be careful not to overwater. Stick your finger into the soil. If it feels dry to the touch, it's time to water. Water deeply until water drains out of the drainage holes. Tomatoes are hungry feeders, so regular fertilizing is essential. Use a balanced liquid fertilizer every two to three weeks. This will provide your plants with the nutrients they need to grow strong and produce an abundance of fruit. As your tomato plant grows taller, it will need support. Insert a stake or cage into the pot near the base of the plant. Gently tie the main stem to the stake using soft twine or plant ties. This will prevent the plant from toppling over as it gets heavier with fruit. Section 7. Basking in the Sunlight Tomatoes are sun worshippers. They need at least 6 to 8 hours of direct sunlight each day to produce fruit. When choosing a location for your container, make sure it receives ample sunlight. If you live in a particularly hot climate, you may need to provide some afternoon shade to prevent your plants from getting scorched. You can do this by moving your containers to a shadier spot during the hottest part of the day. Don't be afraid to rotate your containers every few days. This will ensure that all sides of the plant receive even sunlight and prevent it from growing lopsided. Section 8. Troubleshooting for Healthy Plants Even with the best care, your tomato plants may encounter some challenges along the way. These challenges can range from pest infestations to diseases and nutrient deficiencies. Understanding the signs and knowing how to address them is key to maintaining healthy plants. But don't worry. Most problems are easily solvable with a little bit of knowledge. With the right approach, you can turn a struggling plant into a thriving one. Pests can be a nuisance but there are many organic ways to control them. Introducing beneficial insects like ladybugs can help keep harmful pests in check. Ladybugs, for instance, are natural predators of aphids and can significantly reduce their population. Inspect your plants regularly for signs of infestation. Look for discolored leaves, holes or sticky residue, which can indicate the presence of pests. Early detection is crucial for effective management. If you see any unwanted visitors, you can try spraying them off with a strong jet of water or using insecticidal soap. Insecticidal soaps are effective against soft-bodied insects and are safe for your plants when used correctly. Diseases can also affect tomatoes but many are preventable with good air circulation. Proper spacing between plants ensures that air can flow freely, reducing the humidity that fosters fungal growth. Make sure your containers are spaced far enough apart to allow for airflow. This simple step can go a long way in preventing common diseases like powdery mildew and blight. You can also prune the lower leaves of your plants to improve air circulation around the base. Removing these leaves helps to reduce the risk of soil-borne diseases splashing up onto the foliage. Blossom end rot is a common problem that affects tomatoes. This condition is often a result of inconsistent watering or a lack of calcium in the soil. It's caused by a calcium deficiency and appears as a dark, sunken spot on the bottom of the fruit. This can be particularly frustrating but it's preventable with the right care. To prevent blossom end rot, make sure your plants are getting enough calcium. Consistent watering is also essential, as fluctuations can affect calcium uptake. You can add crushed eggshells to your potting mix or use a calcium-rich fertilizer. Eggshells are a natural and cost-effective way to supplement calcium, while commercial fertilizers can provide a more immediate solution. Regularly monitor your plants and adjust your care routine as needed. With attention and timely interventions you can enjoy a bountiful harvest of healthy delicious tomatoes. 
Section 9. Reaping the fruits of your labor. Finally, the moment you've been waiting for, harvest time. After months of careful tending, watering, and watching your plants grow, it's time to enjoy the literal fruits of your labor. There's nothing quite like the taste of a homegrown tomato, still warm from the sun. The flavor is unmatched by anything you can buy in a store, bursting with freshness and a sense of accomplishment. Knowing that you nurtured it from a tiny seedling to a fruit-bearing plant makes it all the more satisfying. Each stage of growth, from the first sprout to the flowering and finally the fruiting, is a testament to your dedication and care. Tomatoes are best harvested when they are fully ripe. This is when they have developed their full flavor and nutritional value. They should be firm to the touch and have a rich, deep color. This indicates that they are at their peak ripeness and ready to be enjoyed. Gently twist the tomato until it comes off the vine. This method ensures that you don't damage the plant, allowing it to continue producing more fruit. Avoid pulling on the vine, as this can damage the plant. A damaged plant may not produce as well in the future, so handle with care. Once you start harvesting, check your plants regularly for ripe tomatoes. Tomatoes can ripen quickly, and regular checks ensure you pick them at their best. The more you pick, the more the plant will produce. Regular harvesting encourages the plant to keep producing fruit, extending your harvest season. So get picking and enjoy the fruits of your labor. There's a unique joy in filling a basket with tomatoes you've grown yourself. Growing tomatoes in containers is a rewarding experience. It allows you to control the growing conditions more precisely, leading to healthier plants and better yields. It allows you to enjoy fresh homegrown produce no matter how much space you have. Even a small balcony or patio can become a productive garden space. So why not give it a try? Starting with just a few plants can lead to a bountiful harvest and a new appreciation for home gardening. Start small, be patient, and soon you'll be enjoying the fruits of your labor. Gardening teaches patience and rewards it with delicious fresh produce. For more information, check out resources for pots, soil, and seeds. Happy growing! There are countless resources available to help you succeed, from books and websites to local gardening clubs and community gardens.